Video games in the olden days were the wild, wild west where you didn't know what you were buying. Oh, Mortal Kombat, that doesn't sound so bad. Oh my goodness! The ESRB was eventually created to help put age ratings on games so little Timmy doesn't play a game that has. Oh my goodness! To make sports games the most accessible and the least controversial, publishers aim for E ratings. Now certain things can change a rating like violence, blood, language suggestive themes. Now some of this is arbitrary suggestive themes, such as what? A lot of sports games that have licensed music have suggestive lyrics. They censor out the curse words, and there's a lot of them. Play any NBA 2K game from like the last 10 years, and it's gonna sound like I'm gonna voila, then all day to, and don't forget to, and you might get while eating Dunkaroos. Although to be fair, some 2K games get an E10 rating from the ESRB for that exact same reason. However, there are some instances where that's not the case. MVP Baseball 2005 has a song on it that's straight up about one dude who wants to have sex with as many different diverse women as he comes across. I kid you not, the opening lyric is, ah, chocolate girl, well, you're looking like something I want. Ah, your little Asian friend, well, she can come if she wants. Rated E for everyone. Can't believe you got away with putting that song in your game. As for the actual content of the game, cursing is non-existent, though you hear it all the time on real sports. Sports games have stories now too, but the dialogue in these modes are so vanilla and safe. Fresh off his three game, 62 point scoring streak, frequency vibrations. What about violence? Football has to push the boundaries in that regard, right? No, not really. This is where the sports leagues themselves step in. The NFL doesn't allow Madden to have concussions in their games despite it being a common injury in the real NFL. Maybe if you ignore it enough, the CTE will go away. The MLB and NBA doesn't have fights either despite them being a real thing that happens in real life. These games have other injuries, but you either never see them or you do and the player is just holding their injured area. How is he running with a broken leg? Sure players can have broken bones. What I'm trying to say is you're never gonna see stuff like Joe Theismann snapping like a Slim Jim. Hockey is a sport that allows fighting, and the fighting is in the NHL games. Although it's nothing graphic, so it gets an E10 rating. The arcadey midway games are more violent, but MLB Slugfest and MLB Blitz let you attack players after the play is already over. Both MLB Slugfest and NFL Blitz let you attack players after the play is already over, but Slugfest has a mix of ratings despite the games not being all that different from each other, while the Blitz series has mostly just E ratings. Well, except for one, but we'll save that for later. Side note, I remember Slugfest had a news report on it because I guess they thought it was too violent? I don't know, I tried finding it, but I had no luck. I'm pretty sure I'm not making it up though. None of the simulation games have drug use, even though it's prevalent in real sports. This isn't even an ESRB thing. The leagues once again get involved to make sure it's not in their games. So if you want to get a big steroid head like Barry Bonds, you'll have to do it in real life, I'm afraid. When we move away from team sports and onto individual sports, that's where we see a rise in T ratings. Combat sports like boxing and UFC are rated teen for the most part because of their violence and blood. Since these games get T ratings anyway, they're a bit more loose with the language, so now they can say stuff like shit. You got the Tony Hawk and skate games that have blood and violence, but also a ton of suggestive themes. Not enough to get it the elusive M rating, but this guy in Tony Hawk wants to bang a goat, so I think that should be mentioned. Then there are the wrestling games. Wrestling's fake. Wrestling's not fun. They're all rated T for the most part, and they all fall on the same line as Skate and Tony Hawk. Maybe even a little bit weirder. You and me in the ring tonight. What? You gotta be kidding. I don't do bikini contests. What the? The M rated games. Not too many get to this level. The pro leagues will never allow a game to get this rating, so that's why we have Blitz the League, which has no affiliation with the NFL. EA made an exclusivity deal with the NFL, so Blitz the League was like the alternative to the clean E for everyone football game that Madden is. It's dirty football in every sense of the word. 
Yes, his balls just exploded and his cum is on your face. Blitz has these super detailed injuries that show balls exploding, bones breaking, blood, you name it. There are mini games where you snap broken bones back into place. The biggest controversy this game had was players taking steroids. When you're injured, you can inject your player with steroids so they can get back on the field quicker. Blitz the League is insane and deserves its M rating by far. There's also BMX XXX, which is a shitty Tony Hawk ripoff that has nothing going for it, so it goes way over the top with its M rating just so it can get some attention. You on the bike! Why don't you make yourself useful and get my sheep? I'm too old for this shit! It was so vulgar, Dave Mira didn't want to be associated with it, despite his name being on a previous two games. The game has nudity, violence, language, hookers, pimps, dog sex. I mean, this is the opening line from the trailer. Hey! Yolanda! Shake that ass or I'll break my foot off in it, ho! Huh? Shortly after this game was released, the publisher Acclaim went out of business. I like to think it was because of this game, but if I had a dollar for every good game Acclaim made, I'd somehow owe money. They sucked that bad. Oh, hey look, I think that's a nipple! Finite Champion is the first and only EA Sports title to be rated M for Mature. Is it worth it? Eh, kinda. Once again, this is all arbitrary. But you can hear the word fuck, which isn't good. I always want to know if you can make like the least offensive childlike game ever. But at the very, very end of the game, the character just says fuck one time. Will that warrant an M rating? That's not the case here. I'm just curious. Finite Champion isn't going for the controversial over the top shock reaction that these games are going for. It's much more grounded. There's a part in the story where your character gets beat into a bloody pulp in prison, which probably warranted the M rating. Down there. <laughs> We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. Also, there's TNA, and I ain't talking about the wrestling company. And finally, there's the AO adult only rating, which has no sports games. Most adult only games are games that you can just whack off to, or they're super violent. There's one exception, though, that I wanted to point out, and it's this casino game that's AO simply for gambling. You can make a strong case that all these ultimate team modes are gambling, and it's crazy that the rating doesn't even mention this. I mean, you spend real money in hopes to get better cards. That's gambling. Look at this. This is gambling. Yes, you could technically play the ultimate team modes without ever spending a dime, but you get back so little in-game money that you're encouraged to spend, especially if like you're a younger kid. The ESRB does mention in-game purchases, but that's super vague. A 50-year-old mom is not going to know what that means. All in all, it's interesting to see how sports games approach these ratings. Back in the 90s, you had stuff like Madden where the ambulance runs over everyone. With the ESRB and gaming being much bigger in general, there's no way you can get away with that. You go from that to not even being allowed to have concussions now. 